Welcome to Moe's! Tired of the same old catering? Moe's spices up any event. From the fresh ingredients to the free chips and salsa, we deliver everything. Let us bring the party to you. Order Moe's Catering today for your next event. Census, and we'd like to announce that the MVP for the game will be number 33, Daniel Wright. Representatives of the recognizing Daniel for his fine accomplishments in the game. Brandy Mitchell, Crew 757, Coach Blunt here. Now we knew. Big Brother was going to come through. 
it's inevitable. They come through. We knew they were gonna come through. We need your offense to come through today. They did, especially in the fourth quarter. How'd you guys pull this one out? You know, it's one of those things, man. We told the boys you gotta stick to the plan. You know. The I got you. It's excitement going on right now, man. You know, it's excitement. The alumni came back, man. It's one of those things, man. But we told the boys, man, when, you're, when your number's called, man, no matter who you are, you got to be ready to make the play. You know, things weren't going for us. You know, it was like ugly conditions. You know, so at the end of the day, we told the boys that it was going to be a beautiful, ugly game. And what that meant was we knew that the conditions would be ugly, but the process, our process was going to be beautiful through the weather, through the conditions. It was going to be a beautiful process. And as long as you trust that process, in the end, our process was going to win out. And so the boys understood as long as you stuck to it, you stuck to it, man. You fit right, you kick out, you block down, you deliver the ball, make plays when the time came. You know, you were going to have an opportunity to stand tall in the end and walk across that 50 with your head in. Two scores on defense. I mean, two, one score on offense, one score on defense. And two scores in the second half. What was the turning point for you guys in the game? You know, I, th I thought it was one of those things, man. You know, um, that touchdown, that interception from the Quandre Edwards. That was that was a beautiful play. You know, we needed that. We needed something to jumpstart us. We needed something to get us going again. And when he caught that interception, and, and just catch it and go down. He caught it and took a took a six, man. It reminded us of Lake Taylor all over again when we came back from half, and you know we were only up by seven. And he picked up that scoop and score and walked it in, and then we, we saw ourselves start to thrive after that. And that's what it did. It just gave us some extra life. Now you went for two at the end there. What made you decide that's when I needed to do that? Conditions. Conditions dictated. I watched what they did on that game score, on the game tie and touchdown. I watched how they compressed themselves in that box. I watched how the linebackers were not reading their keys. They were playing full flow on the run. So I, you know, I told myself, you know what, I'm going to get them. I'm going to suck them in and I'm just going to dump it over their head. And that's what we did. We just played based off their tendency. You guys took care of business today, knocked off Hampton. How important was this victory for you guys? It was a big win, especially the seniors coming out. We lost two years in a row. It was our first time being Hampton since we've been here. So we just came out and you know, just dominated. Now they called your number on that two-point conversion. What was going through your head when they called it and you knew it was going to you? I just got to get the ball for my team. I got to I got to score this touchdown for my team. But they needed it. Now, how did you guys keep the distractions to a minimum this week, knowing you were taking on Hampton? Uh, we, just, we, just, we just focused on what we had to do, and that was really it. We didn't worry about the outside us talking and all that. We just did what we had to do. Seven wins in a row, momentum. How do you guys keep this up going forward? We just got to keep pushing in practice. Every week, keep pushing. Every day, get better. Now, you spoke of defining moments. What was the defining moment of this game? The defining moment for us um, was as a team. When I watched our heartbeat start to kick in off that touchdown, off the Quandre Edwards interception, pick six. But then how our heads never went down, and I believe we walked the ball 66 yards with, with very little time left on the clock and one time out. Our heads were never down. The boys believed the whole time. But you know what? Play after play, it's just, it's just it's on us to make this thing happen. And, and, and our guys were able to do that, man. And, and, you know, we came out victorious as a result. Now, you knew everyone would be talking about this. You knew the schools, the players, friends, family, the media. How did you keep your guys composed all week long? You get your butt two years, get your butt whipped two years in a row. That, that kind of helps you out. You know, and then the way we practice, you know, we put ourselves in it was a lot of situational ball this week in practice. You know, we were preparing for taunting. We were preparing for, you know, 30 plays after the ball. We were preparing for maybe some calls not going our way. A little bit of adversity and backing ourselves up and still being able to get ourselves back on script. So it was just preparation. And I like the way we prepared this week. We prepared for the unexpected and that helped us out. I mean that was a that's why we were resilient to the very end, I believe, and because of the way the boys came focused and dialed in. 14-12, I bet you'll take this coach. I'll take it. I'll take it if we won by .5. Alright, thanks coach. No problem. Thank you, baby.